So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, Mind. Let's go down to the field. We are ready for football. They'll start at the 20. First down and 10. Passes short right side. He's wrestled down around the 27-yard line by Shaughnessy. Shockey gains seven yards with the catch. Watch out, he's got space. I wish a few more of my fumbles would have bounced out of bounds. What a lucky break that was. It's first and ten. Surveys the field. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. He drops the easy pick. Second down and seven yards to go. Newton flips it out. And the tackle was made by Michael Huff. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. It's third down, nine yards to go. The ball is on their own 40. He's searching for a receiver. Has a man out to his right. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. It's fourth down. The Panthers lining up to punt.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 25. Searching for an open man. John Beeson was there for the stop. And you know the amazing thing about this guy? We all talk about his arm strength, but did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. Good coverage downfield. And he's knocked out at the 41-yard line. And I always find it surprising that tight ends typically don't get drafted very high, but when you think about the skill set, they have to be able to block like a tackle and catch like a wide receiver. And we'll have a first down and 10. Looking. Fires it to the left. He's dropped down at about the 21 by Martin. Goes through his progression. Boy, that one was shot in there, too. I'm not sure anybody could have caught that one anyway. That thing just <laughs> never came down. They'll face second down and 10. And looks left. Throws. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Breaks through the line for a gain of seven. They try the fullback, and he gets to Pater. Janikowski puts it through, and it's a seven-point game. Oakland is up a touchdown. Janikowski gets ready to kick it away. Number 81 is back to receive the kick. The stop was made by Demarcus Van Dyke. They were forced to punt on their last drive. And from their own 25-yard line. They go with the pitch to the right. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Looks right, throws. Olsen was the intended receiver. So it's third down, and they need 12 for the first. Ball on their own, 23. Still looking for an open man. Wow, he just let that one get away from him. I mean, that was a relatively easy throw for him to make. It's fourth down. The Panthers are lining up to punt it away. Ford will take off at the 31. Jonathan Nelson was there to bring him down. 
Wow, there are not a lot of guys in this league that can beat him in a foot ratio. Not only does he have that incredible straight line acceleration, but he also gets up to full speed very quickly. And that's one of the things that makes this guy deadly. You do not want to give him even a little tiny seam or he's going to take it. If you're going to try and stop a tight end from catching those types of balls, you have to get physical with him at the line of scrimmage. If you give him free releases, he's going to wear you out. Dumps it out right. Thomas Davis was there for the stop. Nothing doing on that play. Looking for a man. He makes another catch. He's got it. Touchdown. Sebastian Janikowski adds the extra point. Time winds down here in the first with the score. The Raiders, 14. The Panthers, nothing. Janikowski looks ready to kick it away. Number 81 stands back to field the kick. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Look out, heavy pressure on him. We're starting to see a lot of these kind of guys come in the league, those who specialize in rushing the passer. So you'll see the defensive coordinator move them around a lot up front so that you can't be specific on who's going to try and block these great pass rushers. Well, that's exactly what you need to do when the defense is blitzing. Get rid of it in a hurry. If you've got a shot at a completion, nice read that time. Williams takes a handoff, and the tackle was made by Cameron Wembley. First down and 10. Ball on their own 34. Surveys the field. Throws it into coverage, easily intercepted. The stop was made by Steve Smith. Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him. But when you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. And the tackle was made by Sione Fuwa. On the ground with the tailback. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense's big man, they won the battle. Chris Gamble was there to bring him down. Still a lot of time left. But at the end of one, the score is 14-zip. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. He gets another carry. He's tackled at about the 27 by Godfrey. He's searching for a receiver. The stop was made by Thomas Davis. And that was a little hum baby coming out of there from the quarterback. We've all heard about how strong his arm is, and we saw it there. Searching for an open man. Throws to his right. Number three, has his pass, ball incomplete. They line up at the 18. McFadden on the inside handoff. Well, they brought the blitz that time. The offensive line did a pretty good job recognizing it, 
They got the blocks, but the back was still able to get out of there for a nice game. They hand it off. And they didn't get it. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time, this defensive line did exactly that. Short gain, but more than enough as they convert on fourth down. Well, when you get in that kind of situation, certainly no surprises. It just comes down to the big offensive lineman against the big defensive lineman, and the big guys on offense won that battle. McFadden takes it up the middle. Touchdown, men in black. Point after is good. Oakland is ready to kick this one off. Number 81 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. The Panthers turn the ball over on an interception their last time out. The offense will take over at the 20. First down, 10 to go. He's going to his right. Throws. He's brought down around the 45-yard line by Branch. Williams on the give. Daylight. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. Newton tosses it right. Breaks a tackle, and he will score. Touchdown. Awesome. Olindo Mare tacks on the extra point. Our monitors show that he may have been offside. Mare will be kicking off. Ford is back to receive the kick. And the tackle was made by number 29. The Raiders have been very efficient. Three touchdowns each of the last three times out there. They'll set up shop at the 22. And we'll have a first down in 10. Here's the give. Thomas Davis was there for the stop. Not much, maybe two yards on the carry. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. Darren McFadden can see the field so well, and as a runner, you need to have that kind of vision to be successful. McFadden gets another carry. They go with a no huddle. Good coverage downfield. Carson Palmer showed off the kind of arm strength he has there, but unfortunately that ball was well off target. He's got to rein that one in a little. Now they'll face a third and six situation. Let's go, let's go. Fires a strike to the right. Beautiful long throw that time by Carson Palmer. And we saw so much of that early in his career. Maybe not quite the success getting the ball down the field, but I think a very underrated quarterback in this league. And when he gets comfortable with his receivers, he still has the ability to get the ball down the field. 
Murphy was his intended target. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. On their own, 37. Goes through his progression. And he'll lose yardage on the play. They'll lose about four on that play. Well, that gets a little embarrassing. Anytime you spend all week working on a play and it comes out like that, <laughs> gives the defense a little credit, but that was bad. Passes out to his right. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. A lot of coaches think that it's too early in the game in this situation to go for it and to be aggressive, but I think it's the perfect opportunity to try and give your team a little momentum. And so we've reached the two-minute warning. Still looking for an open man. Loose ball. Picks up the ball and he can run. And wide receivers are so used to making jukes and moves out there, and sometimes they just get loose with the football. That one's stripped away, and that's a big play. They'll go to work at the 23. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Loads up, looking to his right. He was off the mark there, wasn't he? And that's kind of a rare sighting. You're talking about one of the most accurate deep passers in the NFL. Second down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Looking for a man. And they get to him. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play, huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly. And that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. Boy, no question, that's one he would like to have back. That's really the strength of his game, those deep throws. Ford fields it at the 42. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards, you never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Surveys the field. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. When you get a halfback that gets in the open field with that kind of space, it is just so difficult to try and stop the screen. The offensive line got out in front. That was nice. He's searching for a receiver. Has a man out to his right. The pass falls incomplete. Ford was the intended receiver on the play. They'll face second down and 10. He's looking down the middle. Throws. John Beeson was there to bring him down. Here's a pass over the middle. Reese was the intended receiver. The intended target on the play. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. With the ball on the 28-yard line. McFadden gets it on the inside. That's a touchdown! Sebastian Janikowski is good on the point after. Sebastian Janikowski 
Yeah, it's ready to kick it away. Number 81 stands back to field the kick. The Panthers are in a dangerous territory right now. This one's gotten a little out of hand, but a touchdown on this series, maybe your defense gets a little momentum going. They'll start at the 18-yard line. First down and 10. Searching for an open man. Looking to his left. He's going deep. He knows he just got away with one there. That's a ball he should have never thrown. So they'll face a second and ten. Good coverage downfield. They're going deep. At the 30. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line by route. So it's now first and 10 after the big pass play. Goes through his progression. Deflected and broken up. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Pitch right. They push him out of bounds, and now they have first and goal. The greatest show on earth, baby. The field goal unit is out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. So after that kick, the score is now the Panthers, 10, the Raiders, 28. It looks like we're just about ready for the second half kickoff. He makes it out to the 20. Dan Connor was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 20 yard line. It's first and 10. Up the middle. He's dropped down around the 36 yard line by Anderson. McFadden on the inside handoff. He fights forward to about the 39. Sione Fuwa was there to bring him down. Dumps it out right. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 48-yard line by Chris Gamble. Inside handoff. He fights forward to about the 49. Thomas Davis was there for the stop. Passes short right side. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. Mirror, 
gives it off. Nice running for a gain of six. They go to their hurry-up offense. Passes it short. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line by Anderson. McFadden gets the call. Thomas Davis was there to bring him down. They'll get the call again. A nice pickup of eight yards. Boss on the handoff. Sioni Fuwa was there for the stop. Sioni Fuwa was there to bring him down. That is their sixth first down. Good drive they've got going here. Well, they always say the best friend of a quarterback is a good running game. Well, this running game has become a BFF for this quarterback because this has been one impressive drive. Touchdown Raiders! Janikowski adds the extra point. So, time winding down in the third with the score. The Raiders, 35. The Panthers, 10. The Panthers have had a long day so far, and if they don't make something happen on this series, well... We're going to see these players getting more and more frustrated. The offense will take over at the 20. First down, 10 to go. Still looking for an open man. Tip pass, and it's picked off. The stop was made by David Geddes. Anytime you get a team down by this many points, you start seeing some of those throws forced in there, and that one didn't work out so well. They line up at the 45. Palmer with the give. And the tackle was made by Keon Wilson. That's a gain of two. McFadden takes the give. Darren McFadden with some very solid running that time. If there is an opening to be found on the defense, this guy is going to find it and exploit it. Hammered in the backfield. One of the tough things about trying to get a cornerback block is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. The stop was made by Chris Gamble. Palmer with the give. They have the ball. At the 16. Palmer gives it up the middle. Chris Gamble was there for the stop. The Raiders set out to run it down their throats, 